Hey, Chuck, what day is it? What's today's day? All right. Hey, man, it's Wednesday, so you already know. It's Binge Worthy. We are watching Hawkeye. We're reviewing Hawkeye. The premise of Hawkeye is one year after the events of Avengers Endgame, Clint Barton must partner with Kate Bishop to confront enemies from the past as Ronan in order to get back to his family in time for Christmas. So what we're going to do now, we're going to give our initial rating of this show. And we're going to start with you, Courtney. How are you going to rate Hawkeye? Well, I got, as I said earlier, I thought that it was a great way to finally have a TV series that's on Disney Plus that, in my opinion, represents everything that the MCU has brought to theaters. It had the the flash, the humor, the, um, the heartfelt moments, and it was just, I had a lot of fun with Jeremy Renner um, as Hawkeye. Now, I, I honestly, I you know, I could have used a little bit more of him flexing his skills, but overall, you know, it's the introduction of Kate Bishop, and I thought that she was okay for me. She grew on me by the end of the series. I was very excited to see her and Yelena. Yelena was my MVP. So just for her alone, I'm sorry, like, I loved it. I, I, I've total been Joe. Total been Joe. All right. So, Santel, bro, we're going to jump to you. How are you going to rate Hawkeye? Hey, yo, um, <laughs> I know this probably going to piss a lot of people off. Listen, not only is it the best TV show series that's on Disney+, Plus, I think it's arguably the best Marvel product put out in 2021, and that's including no way home it hit all the marks as 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 far as courtney was saying regarding what a superhero movie is supposed to be about it wasn't getting lost in some ridiculous racial overtones with <laughs> with with i don't know, know if i'm gonna soldier. be the captain or not i don't know if i'm gonna be the captain in my word yeah but nobody want to hear that mess it wasn't as complex and and mind numbing is Loki, even though I enjoyed Loki, I didn't have to deal with Wanda's grief. Um, you know, it's just, here is a ah! dope superhero who wants to be mentored by another dope superhero and we get to see them hash it out. It's the buddy cop show that I was looking for. It's the dope it's fight everything that I was looking for. Falcon it's the Winter great Soldier. humor. It's, it's, it, it closed, it checked all the boxes. So for me, it was best in show for Marvel 2021, an absolute binge out. Hey, so we got a binge out, so we got two. I'm gonna jump in here real quickly. So, <laughs> I don't- want to be the Sultan of Salt. <laughs> <laughs> you about to sort all this up. Uh, yeah, like oh, this. This <laughs> go on and go on and sprinkle your your bad news, Evelyn. Oh, let, let it go. So I don't dislike Hawkeye. I don't. I don't. Okay, 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 I'm just not okay, necessarily okay. excited about him. Okay. But one of the things that I find that the MCU has already always done is they kind of take secondary characters who don't get necessarily a lot of attention and they make something out of them so let's think about it like before robert Downey jr kicked off iron man iron man was kind of like a secondary character you know like if you were in the marvel universe it was like the hawk spider-man you know wolverine the x-men right and they turned that shit and flipped it all the way around I thought they did the same thing with WandaVision. It was the first Disney Plus show, right? You know, somebody, Wanda, I didn't really care that much about her. And it was so creative. It was just amazing. So I thought, yeah, maybe, you know, they can, they can do this. I know I'm going a long way about doing this. So I felt like mm -hmm. with Hawkeye, he's just like, Michael Colleone. He's like, every time I get back, I get out, they pull me back in. Because all a dude really wants to do is be on the farm with his family. 
They make the half the universe disappear. It brings them out into the Ronin, right? And then he still just wants to go and retire back and be with his family. So it's like, to me, they bought him out of retirement again. And then this story, the backdrop of this story is to set up the transition over to the new hawk guy, hawk girl, or whoever she is. And I wasn't impressed. I just, I just wasn't. I wasn't impressed by her at all. Their dynamic kind of got on my nerves. It seems like there's a trope out there with little white girls to tell them like, I'm going to do whatever I want, like the Snooky Stackhouse thing. And then there's got to be somebody to save them and its consequences. I wasn't impressed. And I thought they threw in a bunch of just characters to just, I mean, villains just to rush through it, right? We would have been better off with just Elena, if you ask me. Yelena, is that right? Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah. right. We'd have been, we'd have been just off with mm -hmm. her. But then, like, we got the deaf chick, and then we got pit, we got uh kingpin, and then we got all these rush things, mm -hmm. and it was just like Jesus Christ. And why does Marvel keep teasing us, Kingpin, Spider Man, and don't give us Daredevil? And you're in New York City, right? Why they keep doing shit like that? To me, I wasn't impressed by it. I kept looking at my phone. And I'm giving this a snack. Wow! 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 He, wow. He, wow. Threw the gauntlet wow. down. Nah. I mean, <laughs> wow. I'm open to, I'm open to changing my mind, but I'm giving it a snack. So, Chuck, bring us all home, bro. <laughs> um, let me first say, they're in New York City, right? And New York City was bland as hell. And I know for a fact, when you showed me Daredevil, I know Luke Cage is there. I know Jessica Jones is there. I know the Punisher is there. Let's and honest, I know though, Jessica Jones there, don't give a shit about most things. There are and other superheroes that I saw in Endgame living in New York City, because it's one of the two most popular places in America. The only other more popular place is Los Angeles. They ain't got no reason to be on the on the West Coast because Stark Tower is in New York City. And yet... Not anymore. No, because he sold it. But everything was... There. That tower is still there. It's still the marvel there. And I think after they came back, none of them said, you know what? Let's all just reside in New York City. You know, that's where it all started for most of us. And when stuff goes down, it goes down in New York City. Sure, he moved way, way out of upstate New York or up north of DC, but we know that's there. We know it's there. And I was like, can he have anybody come help him besides this little girl? Can he have any? Where is Daredevil to come and help? Him? Just. I don't want to see a uh, Matt uh, Murdoch. I don't want to see the lawyer version. That's like showing me. That's like showing me Bruce Wayne and never showing me Batman. You can't tease me, Bruce Wayne. Never give me Batman. And I was like, man. And I'm. Uh, she's annoying. Kate Bishop was annoying. She was annoying. She was young. Understand? This is her hero. She's twenty two. Oh, she's and, not and young. She's, 20, she's not young. She's not young. And every time she get herself in trouble, she was like, hee, 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 I'm the cute white girl. I'm gonna get myself out of it. I'm gonna get myself out of it. I'm gonna take the the cop's hat off his head, put it on me. Then I'm gonna fart in it, put it back on. He can get mad. Calling I'm gonna him. Mad. Hee, hee, hee. He, I'm gonna keep calling him until yeah, he shows yeah. up. Yeah, you know, I was like, I want to beat her up. I want to hope somebody kills her by the end of this. That's what I wanted. I'm all about killing white girls right now. I haven't noticed for the last. I do not weeks. advocate killing any <laughs> people okay. on screen. Okay, okay, on screen, yeah. Unless they've been killing that too far. Too far. They've been killing <laughs> me. Like God, stop too being far. this person. They give me the same person over and over again. They give me the same one so over. Stack out. Like, Give me yes, and give me somebody else. Write them better. Write them. Do me a favor. Write them better. And so that I thought she was bland, and I think this is the mini meal. I think that alone. Yelena is amazing. When she hopped on screen, I was like, "Thank you, God. Thank you, God." I just want to remind you, she is in fact a white girl. She is. She is. But it's it's just that type of character. Is the just, you, it's you that can't go on a rampage hmm? and say you go on a rampage for one. Man, and not for all. man, I felt this Yo, way. And Kate I, Bishop, Haley, Haley is is of is a Filipino descent. Yes, 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 she is. Oh, is she? Yes, yes, yes. She's a okay. Filipino white. She is Filipino white. Yeah. But that's but that's what they wrote it like though, right? It's like. Uh, uh, Siri is like y'all keep giving me the same character in show after show you keep giving me Sabrina who gets themselves in trouble and somebody has to come save them 
And it's like, I'm tired of this damsel in distress. I'm really tired of it. Okay. I'm, I'm so over it. Wait. And so I was like, mini meal, mini meal. Mm. Go, I ahead, got go, some ahead. go ahead. Go I ahead. got some feelings. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna start on a quick, quick one, which is let's talk about the defenders. Okay, Jessica Jones, don't give a shit about anything. Mm-hmm. Not getting paid, she's not gonna show up. There were mm-hmm. not any black people. Luke Cage is not coming. He's in Harlem. He ain't leaving Harlem. Stuff. Yeah, he ain't leaving Harlem. Harlem. Mm-hmm. He's not doing it. 